Hello there, dear YouTubers. My name is King1993, and today is another day of me trying to explain another part of the home campaign game. And today's topic will be about understanding the type counter and then understanding how the buff and attack uh, parts, uh, damages work. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, if we go to this place here and then click on here, then you will see there are total one, two, three, four, five, total five counter. Uh, types and they can uh, counter each other in a, one way or another and the one below these are damage type and each damage types has their own type of buffs as well okay buffs are basically like when you are using let's say fire damage you will addish, also have the ability to uh, make the enemy get ignited and ignited enemy will receive 30 percent more fire damage something like that so understanding these uh, type counters and these attack types and their buff are very important part of the game, okay? So the game will basically tell you about the three types such as biologic, psychic and mecha. But rest of the other such as quantum, imaginary and these attack types are not basically properly explained in the game. So I'll be trying my best to talk about that. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this. So this symbol is called biologic, this symbol is called psychic, this is mecha, this is quantum and this is imaginary. Now let me uh, uh, talk about it from this place. So as you can see here, when uh, biologic is uh, biologic is uh, strong against psychic, psychic is strong against mecha, mecha is uh, strong against biologic, something like this, okay. And whenever type counters are properly made, then what will happen is your Valkyrie character will gain additional 30% of uh, total damage output due to the type counter. Okay. Now, if you go to the opposite, then what will happen is the type counter is not going to work properly. Rather, the enemy will have the higher advantage. And because of that reason, it is going to be negative 30% of total damage output. Basically speaking, you will take more damage than the damage you are going to be able to give to the enemy so if the enemy hits you you are going to be receiving more damage but if you hit the enemy the enemy will receive 30 percent less damage okay so that's the thing but when uh, there is a biologic versus biologic psychic versus psychic and mega versus mega what will happen is the overall uh, damage multiplier is going to be zero percentage okay now these two are basically different okay these uh, quantum are weak against quantum and imaginary are weak against imaginary but if the enemy is quantum and Valkyrie is imaginary then they are going to be weak against each other and similarly if the uh, Valkyrie is quantum and the enemy is imaginary then obviously the Valkyrie is going to be weak against this imaginary type so quantum is weak against itself and imaginary is weak against itself but these two are when uh, you are facing against these two and if you use the long wrong Valkyrie then you will be receiving 30% less damage okay and when the things are properly made then it you then the Valkyrie characters are going to be receiving 30% more damage output on the enemy sorry the Valkyrie characters will be giving more damage output on the enemy okay so remember that now if these two were to be fighting against this type then what will happen is the type counter is also gonna be receiving zero damage multiplier so that's the thing biologic is not gonna receive more damage if biologic is facing against itself and biologic will not uh, gain more damage output if biologic is fighting against quantum or imaginary type so these are the things okay it is as simple as that the same rule will app these two same rule will apply to this one uh the overall damage multiplier is going to be zero and the for mecha the overall damage multiplier for these two will also be zero okay <coughs> so this is overall type counter now let's talk about the uh types of attack now as you can see here there are physical fire ice and lightning damage now three of these are considered as fire ice and lightning are considered as what should I call the elemental type? Okay, an elemental type in this game cannot crit. Okay, unlike Genshin Impact, in Honka Impact, elemental does not crit. Whereas for physical one, their physical uh, attack can actually crit. Okay, so if you want to use any type of critical damage or critical rate, then you can basically use it on the physical one, but not on the elemental one. 
but here is a uh, lot more important thing which are known as the buff now here is the thing for the physical uh, attack okay let's say when can you understand the whether certain enemies did physical attack or not well here is the thing if you if you go to this uh, section here and go to this memorial arena then you will see that each boss are weak against something okay for example this boss is weak against <laughs> physical damage and is also weak against this boss itself is an imaginary type so this boss is basically gonna be weak against imaginary valkyrie okay so this boss is weak against imaginary valkyrie and as well as the weak against physical so overall the da damage multiplier is gonna be about uh about um, maximum of 70 percent how if you were to be using bleed that is okay now what about this one now this one uh, is same thing uh, this one enemy is a psychic enemy and this bleed has the highest amount of uh, damage output so uh, 30 percent from let's say you are using biologic uh, type of valkyrie character and you are using 40% of total damage output from bleed and then this enemies is gonna take more damage if the uh, Valkyrie which you are using is a biologic uh, Bleed biologic and as well as a bleed user. Okay uh, Similarly, it can be said about this one except uh, for this case uh, There is nothing here about the type counter So in this case what will happen is if you use ice damage then the overall damage output is gonna be uh, third 30 percent higher okay or maybe a little bit more okay because i'm myself is not sure now so from that point of perspective uh understanding which valkyrie is capable of doing which type of attack is important for example if you see an enemy which can do which can be defeated with physical damage but no matter how much you try to use because you are using uh let's say the proper counter type but you, the overall damage output is still low that is because maybe the enemy's uh, weakness in the uh, damage category is a different one okay so that's the another uh, thing that you must need to understand that there is elemental counter and physical counter okay so when it comes to physical let's say the enemies are weak against bleed then obviously you can use uh, uh, one uh, physical Valkyrie character, sorry, one DPS uh, physical Valkyrie character, one uh, support uh, character which can cause impair, and one bleed character which can use bleed. Okay. Now, unlike uh, impair, bleed is permanent. Basically speaking, if you were to click on this section here, you will see that the ammo, total maximum amount of damage output is going to be 40% higher for a matter of 10 seconds. Okay. So it will basically make the physical damage 40% uh, more higher. Okay, so that is one of the thing. Another uh, thing is stun. Now stun is a physical type of thing, but even though it is a physical type of thing, not all the Valkyrie characters has this. Rather, uh, stun is something that not many of the character have this ability. It is more of an old thing, not a new one. Okay. So, which is why uh, I'm not gonna put away too much uh, importance in this. Stun basically makes the enemy stop moving for a short period of time, okay? Uh, somewhere here it is. For a matter of 5 seconds, the enemy will not be able to move. Now, what about Impair? Impair, I'll talk about it later. Now, when it comes to fire damage, fire damage has ignite capability. So, when an enemy gets ignite, what will happen is the enemy will receive a total maximum damage of about 30 percent more fire damage for a matter of 10 seconds okay so if you are using any valkyrie characters that can basically use ignite what will happen is the enemies will get ignited not only that the enemy can also get ignited if you use some other fire uh, damage dealing uh, valkyrie characters which uh, they do not have the ability to use ignite but some of their attack might cause the enemy to receive ignited uh, buff and what will happen is your character will be able to do overall 30 percent more damage output from the fire damage now when it comes to ice now ice uh, uh, damage will most of the time cause the enemy to get freeze okay now if i were to select from this place then you'll see that the enemies will not be able to move for a matter of five seconds now unlike uh before 
where the enemies will not be able to move for a matter of five seconds. Uh, there is actually a uh, trauma system by which the enemy might be able to receive more uh, ice damage because if the enemies get freeze damage, okay. Now, similar to uh, ice, the enemies will not be able to move. There is lightning as well. Lightning will cause paralysis and paralysis enemies will basically receive more overall damage output, okay. So, not all of the Falkyrie characters have the paralysis capability, but uh, if some of their attack pattern might have the paralysis capability. So, what does it uh, do? It does the same thing as the ice thing that it will basically uh, stop the enemy's movement for a matter of 5 seconds. Okay? So, these are the uh, type related one and stun is basically an exception. Okay. So, similar to that, there is a uh, uh, heavy attack. Now, heavy attack. If you were to select heavy attack, these are the Valkyrie characters which will show up. But I have eventually realized that uh, there are exceptions to it as well. For example, Kiana Kaslana doesn't have this heavy attack, but when she uses her charge attack, what happens is Heimdall basically loses his shield. So, what does it mean? It means that it is a heavy type of attack. So, what does heavy type of attack does do? Heavy type of attack basically is used to break this enemy shield as fast as possible okay so once the enemy shield is broken okay here it is once the enemy shield is broken the enemy will be able to take large quantity of more overall damage output uh, from the Valkyrie characters so yeah that's the thing now weaken is one of those features that some of the Valkyrie characters have but it is almost as useless one why is that but what it basically does, it basically causes the enemy to do less physical damage on the Valkyrie characters. So if the enemies are giving you a lot of physical damage in order to receive less physical damage, the if you were to use a character that can weaken the enemy's overall attack output, then you will be receiving less physical damage on the Valkyrie character. So it is an old topic, so which is why. Uh, this uh, weekend has not been given to any other Valkyrie characters like these two are very old characters Okay, now let's talk about impair now as I've already said impair is ambiguous type it basically does not uh, Come with every uh, physical uh, type, but it does come with some of them and one of them is an example of this one For example, if I were to show you the impair capability of this uh, Valkyrie character here What it basically does it basically uh, increases okay it basically lowers the enemy's defense it basically lowers the enemy's defense by 70 sorry by 50 percent for a matter of 15 seconds and i think uh, this one as well it is gonna be lowering the enemy's defense by another uh 50 percent for 15 seconds so if you were to use both of these if you are capable of using that is then obviously what will happen is the enemy will receive a lot more physical damage because impair causes the enemies to take more physical damage okay by lowering their defense so impair is related to physical damage okay so you can't use impair on any other uh, elemental type now time mastery is something that basically when you dodge or when you use qte or something like that anything that basically slows the time this is called time mastery now time mastery uh, is given to a lot of Valkyrie character here so you are not going to be in a bad situation if you uh, are in need of time mastery anyway what is gather gather basically causes the enemy to gather in one place so gather pulls enemies uh, nearby so the nearby enemies are gonna get close together in one place so that's basically now just like we can heal is one of those things that was available at the beginning part of the game but it eventually came to a place that this healing actually doesn't work that much anymore. What do I mean by that? Well, here's the thing. Uh, this character here uses heal on it herself. Okay. But, but the, uh, but what is it? Okay. So here is the thing. This character basically heals itself. Okay. Herself. Okay but there are two bars 
okay of a health line for this character one is going to be in blue one is going to be in white the white one is basically uh, considered as a shield and the blue one is considered as a health bar but the blue one will not recover unless you use the ultimate whereas for the uh, white bar the white bar can recover if you were to use a elf to use their ultimate and when the an elf use their ultimate uh, basic uh, basically the fire one i think then the healing is gonna happen on the white bar okay of this valkyrie character now this is a old thing basically speaking uh, not many of the valkyrie character can do this which is why this uh, method has not been given to the, a lot of characters okay now <clears throat> what about fast attack a fast attack unlike uh, weaken and heal is very useful uh, by our let's just say very important and why is that important well here's the thing there will be some uh, enemies in the game which will basically possess the enemy to make a shield and when the enemy makes a shield in order to break the shield as fast as possible having any character that can basically cause a large quantity of uh, damage being done to the enemy within a short period of time not large quantity let's say large frequency of attack being done to the enemy within a short period of time is going to break the enemy shield so from that point of perspective having a fast attack valkyrie character is going to be a very good option now another thing that i would say that out of all of these uh fast character fast attack character that is uh theresa has one of those things that theresa is able to destroy this enemy shield a lot faster now similar can be said about alicia as well because alicia also have this capability to break the enemy shield as fast as possible okay so from that point of perspective a uh, fast attack buff is a very important buff and this one is basically used for enemies that has a large shield but which can only be broken by high frequency of attack not high damage percentage rather high frequency of attack now what is burst mode now burst mode is basically every valkyrie character in this game has ultimate but not all ultimate are considered as ultimate rather some ultimate are considered as burst mode for example uh, this character here if i were to show you this uh thing here you will see that it is written here ultimate right but if i were to enter here somewhere around this place it will basically show burst mode and if it does not show any burst mode in this place then you have to understand that by design this uh, character can do burst but it is not written there for example for this one it is not written here but if i were to show you from this inside you will see that here it is in burst mode so basically speaking this ultimate is basically a burst mode for this one so what does it basically mean it means that some of the valkyrie characters ultimate are considered as ultimate and some of the uh, characters ultimate are considered as burst mode now aerial aerial is basically something that uh, and something which has been very recently added to the game now what aerial does is basically there are some enemies that can basically fly in the air or let's say top layer okay so uh, valkyrie characters and most of the enemies are gonna be in the lower layer but sometimes some enemies will basically fly in the air and that is called the higher layer or second layer so in order for you to attack the enemies which are in the second layer you should be using valkyrie characters that can basically hit the enemies that are on the second layer and these are the eight characters which can actually do that okay so these are the overall buff and attack related thing now do understand that fire damage ice damage and lightning damage they when ele elemental damage multiplier is added to them only then it will be considered as more powerful but if elemental damage were to be added to physical damage it is not going to work similarly if physical damage uh, multiplier were to be given to elemental then they are not going to work but critical rate or critical damage is something that is only going to work on physical attack only and not on the elemental attack so after knowing all of this you will finally be able to understand how to use our particular characters the reason i am saying that because uh, this week's monday gaming marathon i was trying to beat this boss here now here's the thing this boss is a biologic boss and it has bleed damage and if i were to prepare for this valkyrie characters you will see that there is uh palatinus equinox now the question is why palatinus equinox well uh, that is because palatinus equinox can do physical damage 
and even though i can use a bright night exilis the problem is the bright when compared to bright night exilis palatinus equinox overall damage output is a lot higher okay which is why the maximum score which was being able to be done by the following falcon character was palatinus equinox and that is the same reason why i also use palatinus equinox and not this one plus another reason why i didn't use this one was because i don't have the abyss flower for bright night exilis if i were to have the bright night exilis abyss flower only then i would be able to destroy the enemy using bright night exilis instead okay so this is overall my conclusion on why you should try to understand how this uh, type counter works and how these attack types and these attack buffs work so that you will not get confused on which type of Valkyrie character you should be using or not because the thing is uh, uh, this uh, uh, Kiana Harsher of Clemention is a very strong character but also at the same time the other character which has been added to the game such as Mobius or Aponia they are also a very strong character as well as strong as uh, uh, Harsher of Flemingian and even uh, the Sempronia, which is called Silver Wing Legs, is also as strong as uh, Harsher of Flemingian. But that's because Harsher of Flemingian by itself is strong, doesn't mean that you should only be using one. No, you should be using uh, based on the type difference. If you do not use based on type difference, overall your score is going to be lower. And if your score gets lower, then what will happen is you will not get extra prizes. Okay. So anyway, if you like this video, then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of topic on a regular basis. Thank you and see you again next time.